Morning, ladies and gentlemen, Bordeaux Warrior here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Well, happy Thursday. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I decided to stay inside because there was uh, someone is doing a lot of work outside and it's a lot of noise. So here we are. So did you take time out to study the word? Remember, you must study. We must study. We must study the word. And we are we know that it is later than we think. We are running out of time on this planet. The planet is becoming an old garment, and the solution is no other than Jesus Christ. In his state, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. Okay, let us go ahead and bow for prayer. That kind of gracious Santa Father, I thank you for this beautiful day, Father. Right now, I ask you that you will decrease me so that you'll be increased is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay, scripture reading is coming from Proverbs 7, verses 1. Proverbs 7, verse 1. I said Proverbs 7, 1, huh? And it looks like I have Proverbs 1, 7. So it's Proverbs 1 and verse 7, and it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. So let's go into our topic today, and aid in the study of nature. Let me put that down. An aid in the study of nature. And it says, he who has gained a knowledge of God and his words through personal experience is prepared to engage in the studies of natural science. Of Christ it is written, in him was life, and the life was the light of man. John 1, 4. Before the entrance of sin, Adam and Eve in Eden were surrounded with a clear and beautiful light, the light of God. This light illuminated everything which they approached. There were nothing to obscure, obscure their perceptions of the character of the work of God. But when they yield to the temper, we know that's Satan, the light departed from them. In losing the garment of holiness, they lost the light that had illuminated nature. No longer could they read it all right. They could not discern the character of God in his work. So today, man cannot of himself read or write the teaching of nature. Unless guided by divine wisdom. Let me say it, let me repeat that again. Unless guided by divine wisdom. He exalts nature and the law of nature above nature's God. This is why mere human idea is regard to science so often contradict the teaching of God's word. But for those who receive the light of the life of Christ, nature is again illuminated. In the light shining from the cross, we are rightly interpret nature's teaching. He who has a knowledge of God and his word through personal experience has a settled faith in the divinity of the Holy Scripture. He has proved that God words that God word is true and he knows that truth can never contradict itself. Let me be that. He has proved that God's word is true, and he knows that truth can never contradict itself. He does not test the Bible by men's idea of science. He brings these ideas to the test of the unerring standard. He knows that in true science, there can be nothing contrary to the teachings of the word, since both have the same author, a correct understanding of both will prove them to be in harmony. Whatever in so-called scientific teaching contradicts the testimony of God's word is mere human guesswork. Let me repeat that. What 
whatever in so-called scientific teaching contradicts the testimonies of God's word in mere human guesswork. To such as students, scientific research will open vast fields of thought and information. And as he contemplates the things of nature, a new perception of truth comes to him. The book of nature and the written word shed light upon each other. Let me repeat that. So we got the book of nature and then we have the written word, that's our Bible, shed light upon each other. Both make them better acquainted with God by teaching him of his character and of, and of the law through which he works. Let me go back. Let me go back. Both make him better acquainted with God by the teaching of his character and of the law through which he works. The law through which God works. So that concludes our topic today, an aid in the study of nature. So as we study nature, we know that we have to have nature, right? And we also have to have the word of God, okay? And by us studying the Bible, it gives us more insight of what nature is, right? Okay, so then that concludes our topic today. And so tomorrow we go into the summit, into the summit's experience, okay? And we know who that was, right? It was uh, King David. So we're going to go into that tomorrow. That will be our lesson for tomorrow. So here is my hymn. This is also going to be the hymn and is also a prayer. Okay, so this will be a hymn and a prayer. Okay, may God be with you. May God be with you till we meet again. May God be with you, keep you safely till then, and may the blessing be within your heart. May God be with you while we are apart. May God be with you. May God be with you, watch you from above. May God protect you in his tender love. And with the dawning of each bright new day, may God be with you to guide your way. May God be with you is my prayer. So my sister, my brother, I hope you guys are having a super awesome day. And just knowing that whatever you do today, God is with you. Whatever trials you're going through, God is with you. He sees everything. So just be encouraged that God is with you today. So my sister and brother, be blessed and take care. And if this was a blessing to you, it doesn't take anything to go ahead and um, like and share. And you can also do a comment if you choose to. So like, share. I mean, those. it doesn't cost you anything to do that, right? So somebody needs to know that God is with them whatever it is that they're going through. So be blessed and take care. And thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for sharing. And thank you today for stopping by. I really appreciate you. And more importantly, I love you. And so does Jesus. Take care.